so, to be fair, first day of playing with AA was it's been pretty good. I'm actually surprised at how good it feels. What spec am I running? It's like the leech one, but I actually fucked it up because there was no SP here. I should have put two points in throws. It should have been this. And then what you can do is you can just like flex the throws points into stuff. And then over here, I actually stopped playing Schism for a while to play these three nodes because you don't have any other flex points, right? Everything else you basically have to take. So you basically have these four points of, yeah, to, to distribute between these, these nodes, right? And this is just really fucking good passive healing. Turns out. So it's good value talent. And you definitely want this. This is super good. Because it means you don't need, don't need to dot as much. And then shield discipline is good for the longer games where it just it, it provides you with like 20% like more mana or something stupid, I swear. Because you shield so much. So I'm skipping Schism now. Everything else is kind of standard. I don't think you can really change that much in the disc tree. Did I hit rank 1? Nah, I'm 2 rating off. I've got the unlucky 51 instead of 53. What command do? It's fine. I'll, I'll queue the undead tomorrow. I'm, I'm most to be honest. I'm not too concerned about the rating. I'm more just trying to improve at the moment. So today actually felt, in general, a lot less hectic. Even when people did like inti shit, the main thing I need to do is ad adjust my position to something that isn't fully optimal. But still better than my normal position, which is optimal. But if people go to a bad spot, then it's not, right? So this is something that I need to work on. Rather than being like, oh, he came and stacked on me, so he lost. Right? I can definitely change where I'm standing to try to mitigate other people's bad plays, right? So that's that's something I need to work on. And then, yeah, other than that, we felt it felt a lot more, a lot less hectic overall today with this build with Archangel as well. Uh, a lot more controlled. And it get, I felt like I had a lot more time to spread dots around even later in dampening. Because people were healthier overall. I could spend more time getting the rotation right. Uh, you know, getting your penance off on CD, shielding on CD, keeping dots up. Throwing in a radiance every now and again so you don't like sit on two stacks, these kind of things, right? Just like the core of the build. So I've, I'm, I've been able to do that a lot better today because of, I guess, the more just healing, I guess, through, through AA. I've been doing Archangel first because, well, very first is CDR. You just want to get that ticking. So you just throw out Radiance, Shield, whatever. You can do a Penance if you want early as well. Like this... I, 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 I don't really like it, but the BIS uh, opener rotation is like penance into radiance into shield. But I kind of like having the penance just in case at the start. So I usually just do radiance into shield reset. And then when shit starts popping, then I start like penance and throwing out shields. When stuff starts popping off and you see them using some CDs, then you send the Archangel and usually the Rapture. But it depends on what comp they're playing. If they're playing a more single target damage focused, something like a hunter or something like that, then you can just throw the early PS. Usually I'm just trinketing the first thing that hits me just to get it running as well. So you get another one back up. Try and save your teammates' CDs. And then you send the um <clears throat> the What's it? The second prem next. So when the archangel runs out, then you basically have another archangel with the prem. And I was thinking about it: is it worth doing the prem first or the archangel first? Right? There's no value in doing the prem first because it's already the cooldown on it is already ticking down, right? For the next one because it's two stacks. So it's not like you're getting the third stack faster because you use the second one. So the second one is kind of flex, right? When you use it, you have basically this minute window where you can use it when you need to. Like, ideally, rotationally heal pressure without having to use a cooldown, right? This is what you're aiming for. And and this way you preserve cooldowns for later in the game. And then... My thoughts 
as a result of that is, well, I just want to get the Archangel cooldown running, right? So that's so I've been using the Archangel before the Prem as a result of that. Because then it comes back up in a minute. It's quite a short cooldown. So you can kind of go like Archangel, Prem, Archangel, and it's kind of nice, right? And then usually after the second Archangel, the Rapture's back, right? So then you have Rapture back again to sort of cover the next lot of CDs and pressure. And then again, this is you may have used one PS by now. Try not to have used two by now because you want to use one of the PSs sort of a bit later. And then you'll, <coughs> you'll usually farm the third PS back through the talent, this one. And then you can throw out a dome as well at pretty much any point where you think it's needed. Usually I'm trying to do it if somebody gets stunned. Because then they've got some time to register. Oh, I got domed. And they're less likely to run out of it. And also they're less mobile at that time. So it's less annoying for them to have to stay in it. Because they're stunned anyway. And then... What point are we at? We're kind of like in the late part of dampening now. So this is where you might need to look to put out a ultimate penance. You're going to be using sort of your last PS. You're going to be getting into your late solaces here as well. So usually I try to use the solace shield over the PS because the PS is the highest value CD you have late dampening, right? Because it's not affected by dampening. So if you have like PS's late dampening, usually you can create enough pressure as a team as long as you're keeping people relatively topped and you're not in panic mode. Uh, and by that, I mean people are running because they think they're going to die. They don't feel safe. And so instead of doing their normal damage, which is what you want, right? This is the, the goal, to keep people doing their damage for as much of the, ga <coughs> the game as possible. <coughs> when people don't feel safe, obviously there's no comms. You can't tell them you're fine. So they start running. And they might be fine, but they don't know that. So you need to make them feel safe. So this is why the PS is a good late game, because they're going to feel safe and they're going to keep pumping into the late damp and... This is, this is you know, the, the big deal. The biggest recovery thing is obviously the ultimate penance, and obviously you're going to swing pressure with that as well because you're going to do tons of damage with it. Just make sure you're in a good spot. Usually I try and fake a prem to get it off, but it depends on the situation. If I see people getting CC'd, if I feel like the people I'm facing kind of suck, like kicking and stuff, or if I have a good position that's lining one guy that has kick and not the other guy, just loads of things. But yeah, usually it's, you know, Bit sketch, but yeah, you kind of got to get, get a bit of practice in with it, to be honest. I'm still learning, so. Yeah, that's basically how the CDs, CDs go. And then, as I said before, the rotation throughout that game is just shielding on CD. Trying to keep it up on, on both people as much as possible. But generally, <coughs> their target. Sorry. And, yeah, penancing on CD throwing the radiances in to get harsh discipline as much as possible so that you get better wheel and woe for your shields and keeping everything dotted. If you face something like a BM Hunter or a Demo Lock, you remember your dots spread twice with this. You get two dots spreads from a penance. So you try and dot stuff that's close to all the pets. So, yeah. That's my longer rotational healing guide.